I'm Bengt von Menzer. I'm a, actually a science nerd, so I'm not a businessman. So I only think of science, and I hope you, I can confirm some of the, my thoughts to you. I will talk a little bit about what are we doing new in this company, and also explain a little bit about the background diseases that we are interested in. So, um, hello. What are we doing new? Yes, we, instead of thinking of diseases, we think of symptoms. That's important. So we, we are looking on symptoms of a number of pain diseases. The other thing we are is that we are dare to say that we work with an opioid. All that think of opioids get scared, but we don't. So the background idea is that we like, of course, to improve uh, people's uh, quality of life. life. We have a compound PN6047, which is a delta opioid agonist, extremely selective, and it is in phase two ready. We, uh, FAMNOVA has been going on since 2008, and we mainly work within, you, within the area of neuropathic pain, and there are many diseases that have the symptoms of pain. And we are a quite big team, of not only nerds, but businessmen. We have a compound that is safe and tolerable, and is now in phase 2A ready. We have exclusivity for this compound that you're talking about, and we are now raising a Series A investment for the coming Phase 2A studies. Neuropathic pain is a part of chronic pain. It means that there is are many disease areas, like uh, diabetic neuropathy, which is a, an increased sensitivity of the neurons or damage of the neurons, maybe related to that it related to increased sugar in, in the diabetic si uh, situation. It is uh, a number of other diseases, such as um, shingles, and it is uh, pain from touch, which is a dramatic, ta uh, 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 dramatic um, uh, feeling. And it's also about change in the balance of opioids in the body, that can create uh, that can create a devastating pain situation. There is no effective treatment today. There is severe severe side effects from current treatments, mostly from using opioids, overdose of opioids, and it is uh, and it is like uh, the segment for this is quite dramatic. So it's a lot of money to be gained. And just saying the word opioids give us, uh, give many people uh, what we are actually doing in opioid. A delta opioid agonist, which is extremely selective to its, that type of receptor. We think that this compound can be a game changer in neuropathic pain. It's, it's novel, it is extremely selective, it has a hundred thousand fold selectivity over the mostly known opioid receptor, the mu receptor, which carries all the side effects of overdosing or morphine or heroin, etc. We have just completed a large phase one study, and we found that the compound now is tolerable and safe and can be used in humans. Let me tell you a little bit about the different opioids. We, this compound acts mainly on the, uh, on the delta opioid receptor, as I said, with enormous selectivity, and it mainly gives relief of neuropathic pain. Uh, the, the other receptors are like the mu opioid receptor or the cap opioid receptor. So, if we if we, if we set up an, an acute pain situation in in an animal model, our compound do not have any effect. It's mainly work on the chronic pain situation. It's, it do not cause euphoria and addiction, and it do not cause respiratory depression or drug abuse. 
It has a biased mechanism. I mean, it has two types of mechanisms. It's interacting with intracellular proteins, reducing the, uh, uh, reducing the release of arrestin proteins, which are involved in the buildup of tolerance and seizures. So we see no effect on tolerance, and we do not uh, get seizures with increasing uh, concentration of the compound. This is one uh, model just to show you that uh, the blue bars here see a decrease in pain after increase in concentration of the compound. And there is no analgesic tolerance, as I told you, which means that we have given the compound for like three weeks to, uh, to the mice and then again tested it for uh, e destiny defects to reduce pain, and it is the same effect as after three weeks as it, it is uh, directly. Another area which we are interested in, what we call opioid withdrawal induced hyperalgesia. And that means that people that are addicts to morphine or heroin, they get an enormous migraine when, when they try to stop using um, uh, uh, stop being addicts, that's interesting. And we, we see here that given our compound, we can use that migraine by use, giving PN6047 in, in, in increasing dose. And you see that directly the here, the morphine withdrawal, you have a pain situation, and by giving increased concentration of PN6047, you dramatically uh, change, uh, reduce the pain situation. We, we, we also like to see, when we're working with these opioids, we need to have a therapeutic window. And the, the blue, blue line here shows the uh, plasma concentration after three days daily, 240 milligrams of the compound. When we reach a uh, steady state level, this is done then in humans, the lower the lower red line is the uh, plasma concentration where we see efficacy in, in animals uh, on the pain situation. So we think that this is now like the therapeutic window we have, 20 times, for example, like this. We are now planning a new uh, randomized double-blind placebo-controlled study and where, we, where the patients are subjected to placebo and PN6047. We have a financing behind this. Uh, we have just got an EIC grant, which will take, be part of the phase 2A proof of concept studies. And we are getting, we are hope to get ready with that in uh, mid 2027. And we will start it mid 2025. This is the team. We have 15 people all coming from Big Pharma or Pharma, in, in, including Novo Nordisk, uh, AstraZeneca, where I come from, Leo, and uh, some other companies. To invest in Famidovus sounds like scary because it's an opioid, but we really believe that uh, we can treat these symptoms of pain in these diseases. We have, as I said earlier, we have an effective pain relief in animals. It's safe and tolerable. It's fundamentally different to other conventional opioids, and we see no, no drug abuse. It is phase two ready, and it's just to move on. So we, this is what we think will happen in a couple of years. We will be ready for phase three, and we just move on. So it's like a, the scientific nerd, you know, and you never stop before you're ready. So thank you very much. Bengt, what is the, the best being a scientific nerd? I need to know, because I'm a bit of a role-playing uh, uh, like culture nerd. But yeah, you don't be that. You work for 30, 30 years with different projects. <laughs> and then you, are you just interested in science? Yeah, but what do you enjoy the most with it? All the new things, you see. I'm an inventor, and I've realized also that inventor is very similar to investor. It's just one letter is different, S. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we belong together, investors and inventors. Get it. Yeah, yeah sounds nice. Um, compared to, I mean, because I think you explained a lot about how your uh, candidate uh, differs from other opioids, 
uh, and when it comes to, of course, the opioid crisis that we all know about. But can you talk a little bit about how it distinguishes itself uh, in terms of actual pain management yep. compared to existing alternatives? Yep. Yep. Uh, pain is like acute pain. It is chronic pain, and we differ from that. We only affect the chronic pain situation. And that's been shown, been tested in animals also. Uh, the the, uh, the opioid in relation to pain is kind of scary because you always get addicted <laughs> when you use opioid. That's what people mainly think about. But this receptor do not uh, do that. It is actually mainly affecting the increased sensitivity that you see in the neurons. So it somehow balances the opioid system. And that's actually the treatment. So, um, I mean... We have an endogenous system in the body that is out of balance, and that's where the pain comes from. Yeah. And that's also why the United States have uh, approached us to work more with the, with the opioid withdrawal symptom. So we, we will continue with those studies. Yeah. I want to come back to that, because mm -hmm. uh, that is, of course, a follow-up question. But if I rephrase my question, like... When it comes only to pain management mm -hmm. of the chronic pain, as you say, how effective is it uh, compared to, to other treatments and painkillers? You never reduce pain completely, but you can milden the pain situation. And you can see it from this perspective that maybe the endogenous system can take over if you help it to... Uh, reduce pain. So that's what we're aiming for. We are not saying that we completely will abolish pain. We are starting the system to become fresh again. And that the endogenous system of opioids we need. And we don't need the, uh, definitely not need the drug abuse. And we don't need this heavy migraine you just see in these patients. Thank you. Yeah, and I mean, this leads us to the US, of course, uh, and no one uh, have I mean, everybody knows about it. So how have you prepared for the U.S. market? Because, of course, they would be your target, I imagine. They prepared for us. <laughs> we didn't. They actually uh, came up to us and said, we can, uh, we can actually, the, uh, you, with your company, you can cure the crisis in the United States of the uh, opioid crisis. And, of course, we were happy to do that. And, and that's also related to the the way that the compound act, you see that all the patients ends in, a, in of, of the uh, heroinists and morphinists, mm. and also those patients that have been giving, for example, morphine for toothache, which we don't do in Sweden, they are becoming addicted, and they get open when they want to go back to the normal life, they get an enormous migraine, and. We actually saw that our compound reduced that migraine, and this is that's that they say this is a, uh, this is you can help us to cure this system. So they, we are doing the clinical. They actually pay for the clinical studies, so it's kind of interesting. We they don't need the investors. <laughs> no, but I mean, and even if that is fantastic and and very positive, I think you as a company, of course, also need to have a strategy and a sound plan uh, to gain market access mm. in the US. And how much have you, and how have you planned for it? We have uh, we, we work together with two universities, and we are scared for the US, U.S. market. But uh, somehow we have become a team working together. We meet them con con constantly. This is not the focus of the compound, to be honest. It is just the neuropathic pain that we are working with. It is the the uh, this what what we can say that it's like the uh, the cream we have when they came up to us and said we need this compound. So that's the way we do it. Yeah. <laughs> you make it sound <laughs> easy. Um, what are your key strategies for gaining market share once approved? I'm sorry, I'm like uh, forcing a scientist to talk about uh, market. Business, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but that's my well. job today. No, but like... Give it a little bit more easy. Hmm? I'm sorry? Give the question a little bit more easy. Oh, mm -hmm. we'll see. That is my job. Hmm... Now I feel like when my son asked my dad about heating systems, he's four years old, <laughs> and my dad is an engineer, is <laughs> trying to make a very uh, useful question about this. But, okay, so you say it is approved. You, you get the, the get-go. How will you ensure that's actually access? I mean, if you can get the market 
value or shares that you should have. Mm -hmm. What is, I mean, what, how do you ensure that? We have an enormous uh, market value, <laughs> and I'm I'm all I'm actually afraid of that market value. <laughs> so we, it, it, I mean, neuropathic pain is so big. It is a, uh, can be a blockbuster program. It can, be, but we can actually see what we have. To be honest, I'm not really interested in that. <laughs> I'm actually interested to cure, cure the patients. So it's a, it's a kind of idea that they said in the panel. We are interested in the scientists. We we look on the scientists. We maybe don't look on the businessman. We look on the scientists, and that I I, I love that comment. <laughs> I love that answer. Thank you so Thank you. much. <laughs>